Hi everyone. I wanted to read to you guys today. I'm trying to start some online story times with all of you guys. Uh, normally I would be visiting schools this time of year um, and reading to large groups of kids. And I thought that now that we're stuck at home, it might be fun to do that from home. I've been reading a lot with my kiddos and doing online school with my kids as I'm sure you guys all have been as well. Um, and so today I actually have a brand new book coming out and it's called Rosie Stronger Than Steel. And it's kind of funny because, you know, when I write my books, usually I work on them well in advance. It usually takes about two years to make a picture book. And I had no idea kind of what the relevance of this book was gonna be by the time it actually came out. Um, it's mostly celebrating women who worked and uh, contributed to the war effort in World War II. Um, but this book is more than that in that it's about when we all come together, what we can accomplish. And I think that that's something that's really relevant um, with everything that's going on right now. So I would like to share with you my newest book, which is called um, Rosie Stronger Than Steel. And um, like I said, this book is set during World War II. Um, it's all about a little tractor named Rosie and she is built by Rosie the Riveter here in the United States. And then she shipped overseas to work with the British Women's Land Army, which you see on the back cover of the book here. Um, so I'd love to read this with you and I hope you like it. So this is Rosie. Rosie Stronger Than Steel, um, written and illustrated by me, um, and all the art in this book is actually made using uh, colored pencil, ink, and cut paper. Refrigerators, fences, old cars, and a toaster all melted down to build me up strong. Of scrap and sweat, I was forged to be tough. With each weld, each rivet, and each spark that was shed, I rose from the ground, a one of kind. Down on the floor, the ladies would sing, this is our Rosie, stronger than steel. She'll plow all the land with a turn of her wheel. Harvest the fields, take care of your farm. Do this, dear Rosie, and keep out of harm. Then they left their mark to remember us by, they whispered in close. Grateful, I delivered my oath. I'll plow and I'll dig, I'll dig and I'll plow. No matter the job, this is my vow. Then we said our goodbyes through the cracks in my crate. I traveled great distances through air and by sea, on truck and by train, in darkness and silence. Finally, we stopped and my crate opened up. Then I saw it all covered in weeds, my field, my place, my farm in need. The tall grass tickled as my blades dug deep. I felt the ground churn as the dirt splashed up. Amidst the endless green covered in mud, beside the brave land girls, I found my new home. We worked day and night, we grew many crops, wheat and barley, oats and potatoes, sugar beets, currants, apples, tomatoes. They all rose up to the tune of my song. I plow and I dig, I dig and I plow. No matter the job, this is my vow. Some days were endless, heavy with fear, hiding in fields, quietly moving beneath the shadows above, whispering over and over, I plow and I dig, I dig and I plow, no matter the job, this is my vow. But more crops were needed, load after load, sent out to the troops to feed them, to help them, to win the war. We milked and sheared, we picked and packed. I plow and I dig, I dig and I plow. No matter the job, this is my vow. The work was tough, but we were tougher. Clearing and logging, hauling and fixing, day after day, year after year. Then one spring day, in field after field, cheers rang out. A celebration spread throughout the world. The war was over. Time passed and the world around changed. New young tractors took to the fields. I taught them to plow, to dig and to sow, to churn up the dirt and make it all grow. And then one day, a bang and a growl in a puff of black smoke, there I was stuck. 
Hauled into the barn, the farmers all tinkered. My eyes grew heavy as I drifted to sleep, and I dreamt of the ladies who built me and sang. This is our Rosie, stronger than steel. She'll plow all the land with a turn of her wheel. It must have been days, I wasn't quite sure. Then deep from my engine, a shudder, a flutter. I sputtered to life. Real rubber tires, shiny new paint, and my rose, a gift all those years ago, had blossomed full and bright, wrapping me in petals. Thank you, dear Rosie, for all you have done. Without your service, we wouldn't have won. All those years ago, I'd given my oath to the women who'd built me and farmed alongside me. Bravely together, we summoned our courage. Together we worked and fought to be free. So in the back of Rosie here, you guys can see there's a pretty extensive author's note that talks all about uh, the women that worked during World War II, including Rosie the Riveter and the British Women's Land Army and all the things that they did and the incredible jobs that they took on during the war effort. Um, and although Rosie is a work of fiction, um, she is based on the truth of what these women did. And I thought that that was a really important story to share. And it seems even more relevant now um, that this story is all about coming together. So I hope you enjoyed Rosie. If you have any questions about Rosie, please feel free to send me any comments on this video and I'm happy to answer questions. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Be well, everyone.